These are today's biotech stock news. Siona Therapeutics initiates phase 2 trial for cystic fibrosis in combination with a standard therapy with data expected in mid-2026. Quan Yin receives orphan drug designation for Netherton syndrome. Sphero Therapeutics announced phase 3 data for its antibiotic in urinary tract infections. The study was stopped early due to a strong efficacy and met its primary endpoint. Shorts price a 1 million stock offering at 0.63 per share, below yesterday closing price. Nxera presents phase 1 data for cancer immunotherapy combining an EP4 antagonist with atezolizumab. It was well related and will proceed to phase 2. Pasira will present new phase 1 data on October 28 for its gene therapy in osteoarthritis. CDARA reports phase 2 data for its anti influenza antibody showing efficacy versus placebo, ranging from 57% to 76%, depending on dose. ClearMind enrolls the last patient in its phase 1 2 trial for alcohol use disorder. Fortress, through Crystallis, announced first patients treated in a phase 3 trial for good treatment. Berrica receives a positive opinion from the European Medicine Agency for approval of its molluscum contagiosum treatment. Neuphoria failed its phase 3 trial, missing both primary and secondary endpoints, and drops almost 70% painful loss. Teva will commercialize transduzumab biosimilar in Europe through an agreement with Prestige Biopharma. Nova Bay will remain list on the US stock exchange. Galapagos shoot down its cell therapy division. Springworks, now a merc company, Publish phase 3 data for the small tumors in clinical oncology. Links in the comments. Disc with ticker iron announced a 250 million stock offering at $84 per share. And Lexeo and Attite each rise around 150 million through stock offerings. See you tomorrow.